Well, we're here. It's chair acquisition time. We're throwing chairs at uh, Horizon Chase Turbo. It's developed by Aquari or Aquarius. Aquarium. Studio. It's developed on the Unity engine. Uh, you can pick it up for around. Well, they they uh, they didn't stick with the uh, or they they have um, different prices per region, which is kind of nice. If you live in the UK, you're only paying 15 pounds. If you're in Canada, you're paying 22 pounds. The average in the middle at the US uh, current current US dollar is 19.99. So what is it? Thrilling arcade racing game inspired by the super fun, straight to the point classic racing games of the 90s. This is the chair, and this is the chair QA edition. This is where we take the game, we play it for a little bit, we talk about it, we give our thoughts about it, maybe do a bit of quality assurance that the devs should have done before putting it on the Steam store, and then give you a final score based on chairs. One chair means that it's garbage, two chairs means it's meh, three chairs means it's pretty good, four chairs means it's awesome. We apply them to our categories of doom, makes with the working, shiny sounds, controls, and fun. So I guess let's uh, let's kick it off. Then how'd the Horizon Chase Turbo work for you? It ran like a dream, man. Uh, unlike Pedro, who's like, oh, I can't stand 60 frames a second. I need all the frames. <laughs> I, I left V-Sync on uh, 1080, 60, 2160. 60 and you know that is 1710 still haven't done that upgrade ryzen 7 1700 um yeah nothing no issues on it full screen works big picture no problem windowed no problem clean bill of health man yep yeah uh i i i did this on the uh, on my laptop just because i was bored on the toilet <laughs> and on the wait wait the wait, 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 wait he's gonna tap the brakes <laughs> on that now you bring your laptop into the loo Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. All right. Inquiring mind wanted to know. <laughs> yeah. Don't ever let's, touch let's Jordan's listen. laptop. Um. <laughs> Whoever touches my laptop <laughs> is gonna is gonna end up looking like what's his name from Raiders of the Lost Ark <laughs> near the end. And yeah. And, and anyways, on on, on both. Uh, yeah, it has. Um, I, I was getting about sixty FPS. I left VSync on as well, just because like. These things one of those weird things under Linux where it either like kills your performance or it doesn't really do anything. This is one of those cases where I think it didn't really do much. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, yeah, uh, 60 FPS at 1080 on uh, both fairly, well, these days, low-end systems. I didn't actually try it out on the on the big box just because I didn't get a chance. But, uh, yeah, no no real issues there. Pedro, you were, yeah, uh, nope. you're, you, things were struggling with the 1080, it seems? Not really. Uh, it held 60 just fine. In fact, the uh, the footage you're looking at right now was recorded with VSync on, uh, just because, yes, it uh, does average at 550 FERPs uh, if you disable VSync. Uh, the amount of coil wide that I was listening to was not pleasant. So, eh, yeah, uh, I ended up turning it on, and it, it's fine. It's, uh, like Jordan said, uh, VSync on Linux either really fucks you up, or it doesn't seem to really do anything. And in this case, all it does is limit the, um, the FERPs down to 60, or whatever the refresh rate on your screen happens to be. Now, there was one thing about this game, is it tickled that side of my brain that uh, is always looking for tearing, and you can't see it on this track that's uh, on video right now, but uh, there are some of the tracks where the color differences are so pronounced that as you're going stupidly fast down the track, it makes it look like it's tearing, but if you look at the car, it's not. So... It's that uh, almost uh, caused me to dig in a chair, but no, that's just an optical illusion type thing. So f full score from me. <laughs> All right. Well, that's four chairs for mixed with the working shiny and sounds wise. I mean, every, every, I, I think we're all in agreement. Everything looks fine here. It's not like it's, it's criminally ugly or anything. The one thing that got mm. me though, is the soundtrack is super repetitive. I've, there, there's one song, and I can really only describe it as like a spoopy techno bar mitzvah soundtrack. Techno bar and mitzvah I can only... show title. <laughs> techno spoopy, bar mitzvah. Spoop, spoopy techno bar mitzvah, and um, like I, I, I keep hearing it every time I get into a race, and it's it's really annoying. Like it's distracting me from the track just because like God, I hate this stupid song. <laughs> Um, but yeah, visually, I mean, it looks fine, right? It has that sort of pseudo cell shaded aesthetic. It's mm -hmm. trying to look like a, like an old school arcade racer game. Uh, I, I think it gets the job done, but it's not pretty. It's not particularly distinct. What do you, am I right? I don't know, man. Uh, you know, 
just by the look of it, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it genuinely, at first, I was like, wait a minute. You know, this kind of looks like hundreds of other mobile racing games. Then I found out, uh, not even digging, just a simple Google search, that it really, really looks like one in particular. It's called Horizon Chase World Tour, because it's available <laughs> in the Play Store for free. And developed it's, by the same people. <laughs> yep, and it looks exactly like this game, um, because it is this game. And what does it look like? Hey, man, you're dealing with a low-poly visual experience without, to their credit, any of the pixelization nonsense that we, the game we were talking about earlier in the uh, Steam segment. Soundtrack, I mean, it has bleeps and bloops. Uh, the soundtrack itself, it is period accurate. I'll give it that. And it's completely inoffensive. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I didn't hate it, but I tended to play this without the headphones on. I was just listening to some background noise. And stuff like that. I mean, it didn't uh, engage me. Pedro? Yeah, it's back in the olden times. This uh, kind of works up to my biggest complaint about this game. Uh, it was uh, when these games were, you know, par for the course. The short draw distance was a symptom of the poor hardware performance. Nowadays, it's a stylistic choice. A stylistic choice, which, in my opinion, doesn't do this particular game any favors. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, if you're doing a retro-inspired game, either go whole hog and earn the uh, hipster pixel title like uh, Slipstream did do, do uh, you, when we talked about it. Do you think it's, like, retro-inspired and they're sticking to that, or it's more that uh, this was originally developed around mobile devices? Uh, yes. It's, uh... It, they figured, you know what, the retro style of gameplay where most of the mechanics basically play themselves really works uh, on a mobile platform because limited hardware and everything else. So yeah, the two kind of go hand in hand. It's not one or the other, it's both. And I can see that, and I don't hate the visuals or the audios. It's... Uh, I, uh, the previous game we threw chairs at from uh, Aquarius was Ballistic Overkill. And I criticized that game for having absolutely no charm. It was generic white dude the shooter. This one, on the other hand, they picked the stylistic choice and they stuck to it. So, hey, no complaints here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I will say that um, the, the draw distance is definitely something that kind of bugged me because you'll 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 be you'll be getting a, to a point during a race where you're going just like super fast and you're nailing all the turns and so on and so forth, and then like mm -hmm. something that you should have seen in front of you kind of just pops into place because they, they didn't they didn't draw it before it shows up and then you just kind of slam into something well, this, that usually gets really annoying. It is, but I mean, uh, it teaches you to. This is something I'll talk about more in the fun section. You can't pay attention to anything other than what's directly fucking in front of you. You look at what speed you're going, you're dead. You look at how much petrol mm -hmm. you have left, you're dead. Um, you check the map, you're dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, let's get mm -hmm. into controls. Yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, controls, man. Oh, that's uh, two chairs for shiny sounds. Controls. I mean, I don't know, Pedro. You get you. You're the control stickler. You got any issues? You know, the cars turn by themselves on the corners. I guess this is very much uh, something that you would see on a mobile platform. Uh, and you just really use the steering keys to make sure it doesn't go off the track and to attempt to dodge the AI cars. Uh, I guess it would really take someone deliberately wanting to make the controls horrible in this game for uh, them to cock it up, and they didn't. So... As far as I'm concerned, the controls in the Horizon uh, Chase Turbo are perfectly acceptable. Hmm. Once you wrap your head around the fact that the car kind of turns in by itself. Jordan, Sometimes. You had an interesting way of playing this game. <laughs> yeah, for whatever reason. Because I, I started doing it while I was playing on the laptop. Uh, where I was just playing with the arrow keys instead of the controller, which is what I usually um, use for games like this. Um, but yeah, um, I, when, when I switched to controller, I found that I was having a harder time, like making turns and whatnot. And when I switched back to using the arrow keys, um, I was able to nail turns a lot better. So uh, hmm. the, that's, that's just, that's just a weird point. It's just an observation. No particular criticism against the game. Hmm. What, what about you, Ben? Hey man, I tried it with the Aerial controller, the steamy controller. It worked. Default layout. It's logical. 
controls, I mean, for what they are, man, you're basically dealing with three buttons. They're tight, allowed me to reliably slam into the ass end of the AI opponents with the utmost precision. What I will say is this, uh, there, there's not much skill to going around corners. You turn left, turn left, or turn right. You just slam it down, and unless you're just being stupid on purpose, it's going to go around the corners. No issues whatsoever. But yeah, it looks like uh, another clean bill of health for all the controls. But we do have yes. our subjective category that we have fun with. Yeah, so four chairs for controls. Ven, did you have fun with this? Hey, man. Uh, casually just sitting back fucking around during the week, I stomped. I murderated Pedro. I <laughs> killed Foxy. So the game had that going for it. And, the and then, then, then you raced some cars around? Well, you know, <laughs> then I woke up. Uh <laughs> You know, every every boy can have fantasies. Uh, my working theory here, if you're watching the game, is the AI, your opponents, that's all you can have in this, is they have rear view mirrors. I don't have rear view mirrors. I mean, them having rear view mirrors is basically the only thing I can come up to explain how they manage to swerve in front of me with just the utmost precision, because they do. I mean, I don't like it. It's basically dodge cars, the game. That is the primary goal in this is to avoid the other fucking cars that will head towards you very maliciously um i do like that it did a very legitimate job of recreating arcade racers of old with the mm -hmm. bonus soda of the upgraded graphics from a mobile game uh what i really don't like about it though is winning races and getting better times is I want to say totally, but I would say wicked heavily reliant on how much of the how much of a dick the AI feels like being for that particular round. I mean, you genuinely a lot of times can just restart the race, like because it'll just fuck fuck you right at the beginning or something like that. Uh, you can see in the video right there. There is a petrol mechanic, which I just think is wholly mm -hmm. unnecessary. I have run out of it twice. And it was like, ah, oh, one of them I was going to win the race too, which really sucked. Uh, a big negative, no online multiplayer. Don't like that. And just right here at the end, you know, 1999 for a mobile port, just just a little on the a little on the steep side. So there's that. I think if I had to say, I the only fun I've had with this is knowing that Pedro and Foxy were playing it and trying to beat their times, but it. This is it. I mean, this is over and over. And it's a grind to get the tokens because guess what? You used to be able to buy it. Yeah, I'm, I mean, the, the, the petrol mechanic is kind of a weird addition. And it really only comes into effect if you've met, if you if you hit the if you hit some of the petrol cans like maybe once or twice throughout the race, you're good. It's just the odd time that you miss both goes at them is when the lack of fuel starts to become an issue. There were a couple times, yeah, where I ran out of fuel, but I still made it across the finish line <laughs> at first, which is like, yeah, oh, fuck you, AI. And yeah, I, I also have to agree with them. The the AI mechanic of just like stopping in front of you is the most infuriating part of this game by far. Of just like, you're, 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 you're going at a good clip, you make a turn and oh, no, this guy's going to like compromise his position mm -hmm. just to fuck with you. And it, it gets even worse when like multiple racers start to gang up on you. Oh, they all start. They don't mm -hmm. care. The you get caged in. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. They, they will attempt, they'll just straight up attempt to box you in. But, but you know what? I actually, I didn't hate this game. Um, and the, it's, it's a rarity for me in racing games. I usually don't get too into them. But um, I, I, I guess I kind of started to grok what's going on in this game. I even I even beat Ven and Pedro on a couple of uh, tracks, which is surprising for me. I'm sure if they actually put in a couple minutes of effort, they would cream my score. But I still beat them. I'm going to take my victories where I can get them. Um, yeah, the I, 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 it's it's a perfectly fun, fine arcade racer. If you like that sort of game, if you like going to arcades and playing it, this will this will definitely do something for you. Um, the lack of draw distance does get kind of annoying, and yeah, the the whole the whole um, the whole uh, NPC driver stopping in front of you makes me kind of want to get a dash cam for some reason. I don't know why, <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, I, I I liked it, and that's a rarity for me in racing games. So 
Take make make of that what you will. Yeah. It's a great game if, say, you have children and you want to do some local multiplayer with them. And local multiplayer is all you'll be doing because it doesn't have online multiplayer. Uh, it's it's not the kind of game I see myself obsessing over. Not in the same way that I do with Distance. Uh, because in Distance, yeah, you're actually required to drive the car. And, and cheer the game. And cheat. The game really does, yes, you could cheat a little bit and go off the track and just ride the side of the buildings instead. Uh, but uh, in this one, the cars kind of drive themselves and all you're doing is a very limited input. And it's... I get... <sighs> it, it, it creates a bit of a dissonance in my brain. It's like, I want to play the game, and the other side of me is going, I see what they are trying to do here it doesn't particularly appeal to me but i see what they're trying to do here so you know seeing what this particular brazilian uh team can do they've done ballistic overkill before now they've done this game i am very curious to see what else uh they can do uh, though you know old school style game as it is it it was very obvious that there was a lot of uh rubber banding happening uh especially when you're trying to beat your own time because say you finish like third uh on your first go around the track and then on your second go around you're already in first place and your ghost is still ahead of you yeah that right there is just okay. proof of Here, the rubber here's something banding i'm gonna throw happening. at you right there the rubber banding so you, you get so much PTSD uh, from trying to dodge these fucking cars that mm -hmm. even when you're racing against your ghost, how many times did you swerve away from your ghost? You're like, fuck. All the time. Right. All the freaking time. <laughs> it's, it's really annoying. And, uh, you know, I don't hate it. It's, uh, it's simple, almost to a fault, but I really don't hate it. It's, it's all right. Hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm, yeah, the, the 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 price tag, like Ven mentioned, though, is kind of steep for twenty two Canadian is. dollars. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe maybe if that goes on sale for half, definitely give this a pickup. And anyways, um, I, I guess that's that's two chairs for fun, and we tally it all up. And Horizon Chase Turbo gets gets three chairs. It's pretty good. I it's think, good. I think uh, none of us. One of the things yeah, I do, guess I'd ahead. want to say is uh, try it for free on your Android device first. Mm, yes. yes. <laughs> oh, you, hell, you can even pair your Steam controller with it and mm -hmm. give, it, give it a whirl that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good times. All right. 